Hey everyone, Leanne here from Aussie Quick Quilt. You're about to watch our movie on how to glue your quilts. Now, we've had hundreds and hundreds of classes, thousands of people come to class and achieve a single bed quilt, fully finished, quilting, everything, binding, in our classes. Now, the reason we do that is that we have so many quick hints and tips. My favourite is 101 Quilt Basting Spray. And there are plenty of glues on the market for gluing your quilt and that's the difference. This is quilt basting spray. It is wonderful. It's an Australian invention made by Helmar and good on your mark. And honestly it is the only one that we will use and recommend in class. Any of the others are literally contact cement in a can or whatever else they do. I'm an asthmatic and I can't use them. This one no problem. We do it class after class after class and perfect every time. 101 Quilt Basting Spray, the only thing I'll put my name to. We find for a single bed quilt, use two six foot tables, that's plenty big enough. Lay your backing down with the right side facing down and always have someone to help you. It'll make it so much easier. Lay your batting down, leaving yourself about a one inch border all the way around and just smooth that down very lightly. Parachute your top down very gently. Once the fabric's stretched it doesn't unstretch so just be very careful with it. You've done such a good job let's keep it that way. Once again just leaving a one inch border all the way around and trim off all the excess. It makes it lighter when you're trying to maneuver it later on and you just don't need it. Now put your finger in the middle, fold one half back over Give it a good liberal spray. Make sure you remove any threads so they can't be seen through the quilt, especially if you're doing a, a black and white one. Make sure all the black threads are gone. Now parachuting it back down. This is really important. Finger down and just very lightly parachute it. We're really lightly touching that. With the quilt basting spray, you can actually reposition. So if you find that there's a little hiccup in there, just lift it up again, just like I'm doing here and reposition it. Fold the other half back over. And just make sure that centers right. Another good liberal spray. And parachute that half back down. Gently, gently tapping it down and not stretching. Now we call this the pancake flip. Give it a good flip over, all three pieces. Fold the back in half. And just like you did with the front, a bit of a spray. You don't need a whole lot on the back because it is only two fairly large pieces. But of course you do want it all to hold together. Now pop him back down. And smooth it out. One more bit to go. As you can see, Ralph and I have done this once or twice. It's always much better to have someone to help you. you don't, if you don't have the tables, you can use um, a floor. Just make sure that it's uh, free of all dust and dirt. It's easy to get caught. And that means, yes, you actually have to sweep the floor instead of quilting. Okay, flipping back over. And we add one pin in each corner just to stop it coming adrift and folding back in under. Once you've done that, you're ready to mark your quilting and pop it under the machine. 